Well, I like uh, that, uh, that Ramsey or whatever it is. Gordon Ramsey. Gordon Ramsey. Yeah, he, I like his craziness a little bit. Matches <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Tuning in to the first episode of Nine and Dine. That's where we go into Dundee restaurants and ask the owners the same nine questions. We eat a little bit and then we go ahead and dash. So at the end of every episode, we're going to go ahead and put the menu right there on the screen, whether it's online or not, so you know where to go to anytime you want to dine in or carry out. Let's go see what's going on in Uncle Lyle's. I'm from Dundee. I've grown up here my whole life. I'm a third generation of this area. Um, I've originally come from agriculture background. I did milk cows and did uh, row crops. Started the sexy pheasant and the corn maze and I had a vision of this to tie those last two entities in together so the people coming to this area would have a place to go and then we could capture um, them enjoying themselves after they've had the event. Well, I've always liked restaurants. I'm, always, I'm kind of a real critic, picky on my food and the ambiance and how they tie things together in restaurants and make it so it's an experience. And so I thought I'd have my hand at it and try it. So I hope that everybody enjoys what I did and we get a lot of good feedback. Well, I enjoy the people. I have been very blessed with um, our community coming together, being I'm a longtime resident and their support. I'm very thankful for that and very blessed with all the people we meet and the traveling people that we meet from different states. Um, last week, a bunch of construction people who moved into town to do different constructions in the area. So we got to meet them and talk to them. And that's what I really enjoy. I believe we have a thriving economy. But my, the biggest thing you have to do is understand in this business or any other business that you continually have to refill it with new customers, new leads, new avenues, and you gotta constantly change. If, if I would stay in the mindset that when I graduated back out of high school, I wouldn't be able to exist in business today because you have so much technology kicked in and you have to be on the forefront of that and change. Everything when I graduated was newspaper, somebody tell you, now you got Facebook, social media. You still have the old style, but it isn't. Uh, it doesn't converge like some of the new stuff does. My wife Jenny runs that. She was a retired teacher out of Dundee High School. She taught there for 30 years and I turned the upstairs over to her. She runs the comedy shows. She does paint and pour. She rents the upstairs room out for everything from weddings to birthdays to just somebody who just recently was um, going to be shipped to Iraq so they had a small party for him and things like that. And We keep the cost small up here and it's a nice place for people to have a little event. And it's something that we do, and it's been fun, and she enjoys that part of it. Well, we start out with special. We'll run a, an idea, we'll get either a sample or something from our um, suppliers and have an eye brainstorm, or we might just go to the grocery store one day and get a certain item and try it, and then try to perfect it that way, and then put it on our specials, and those that the people like, and it actually starts selling, then we'll put it on our menu. Well, some of our most uh, highest sales items are our burger. It's a specialty burger that I've made up with my own recipe. We've got a special bun that it goes with it. And you can put and make it several different ways. And you can even make it to order if you ask. Or we'll make it to the way you like it. Um, and also our smoked meats have took off for us, and that's been a big signature deal. I actually don't admire any of them. I think I, my, my view of, of cooks and the restaurant business, it's like an artist. You each have your own way of doing things, your own palette for things. You can get next to a professional guy and you may not think his stuff is that great to yours, but it's what your palate likes. And I think that we're all different artists in our own way with food versus maybe a palette or a building or something like that. From our menu, my favorite meal would probably I'd order my smoked wings with my uh, mixed barbecue barbecue with the garlic parm and then I would have my uh, steak tips and rice as a uh, as an entree and then I'd get my deep fried cookie 
with my ice cream and caramel and chocolate on it, and I'd be a happy man. So I can, I want to continue to grow and I want to continue to find out what Dundee really wants and also kind of keep up on trends and ideas that are coming that are changing. Um, I was exposed to Moscow Mules three years ago. They're now just got to Dundee and become popular. So we were a little bit ahead of the curve having them, but at the same time now they're very popular. And you got to stay in contact and, and what goes on and what's coming to the area. Being we're a smaller community, we don't get exposed to the big city stuff that's blowing up and exposing. It takes a while to get to us. So it's, it's one of those things. And then uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to stay ahead of the game. I would like to either franchise or JV um, joint ventures uh, down the road. I'm still looking for a second spot. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. Let me see that meat. That's the burger. Look at the treat that subscribers of The Independent got on Tuesday, May 1st. And we need you to subscribe so that we can continue to bring you awesome content to where all you have to do is hit a button and we'll talk to you. So go ahead and hit that red button right there. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you.